Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the Carbon Dioxide Molding Process. It is a molding process that uses a mixture of sand and liquid silicate binder. The carbon dioxide is used to harden the molding mixture. So this comes the name Carbon Dioxide Molding Process. The molding mixture is then hardened by blowing the carbon dioxide gas through it a, through a hole and then it reduces production time as well as the fuel cost because uh, some of the sanding uh, sand mixture is hardened using the uh, heat by using burning the coal so the fuel costs are reduced in this process here carbon dioxide is used to harden it and reduces the number of mold boxes required for making molds with great deal of accuracy in production so this method offers a great deal of advantages than the other molding processes so the advantages are dimensional accuracy uh, with fine surface finish is achieved in this type of the carbon dioxide molding process and it is not economical uh, if we done this in a uh, small uh, units that is a small production it is only economical uh, only in the large size of production and what is the principle behind this carbon dioxide molding process means so uh, when the carbon dioxide gas is passed through the mixture uh, containing the sodium silicate the silicate means this the sand the sand immediately becomes extremely bonded together so that it looks like a, a stiff gel or a hardened material so the equation is uh, Na2SiO3 the sodium silicate plus carbon dioxide reacts to get the sodium carbonate plus silicon dioxide uh, and some water content as this is a silica gel this gel is responsible for giving the necessary strength because when it is strongly bonded it will become a gel and looks like a hard material and the suitable sand mixture can be packed around the pad in the flask or the core box by machines or by hand then the sand used for this uh, may be a dry a uh, free form clay uh, with suitable additives like coal powder wood floor graphite to increase their strength and uh, to improve the pro properties like the collapsibility when the packaging is complete carbon is forced at a 1.45 kg of per centimeter square a pressure uh, for 15 to 30 seconds uh, the quality quantity of sodium silicate uh, has been calculated with respect to the volume of carbon dioxide and as a thumb rule for every one kg of sodium silicate 0.5 to 0.75 kilogram of carbon dioxide is required and over gassing is wasteful and results in deter if we over uh, imparting the carbon dioxide more than enough uh, it will uh, deteriorate that it will damage the sand so that the accuracy is affected then patterns used in this process may be used of uh, wood metal or plastic etc so uh, then then comes the advantages or some diagrams here the cope and drug are placed and a pattern is placed uh, sprue riser runner and holes are uh, made then uh, carbon dioxide gas is passed into it so that uh, the mold cavity is hardened then the hardened mold can be obtained in this process then then comes the advantages it is more advantageous than the other process because uh, the fuel cost are totally reduced fine surface and accurate finish uh, with fine surface finish can be obtained and uh, it is a speedy process because carbon dioxide gas is used so it is a speedy process and get uh, semi skill semi skill labor can also be uh, imparted in doing this process and get convert in can also be a fully automated process then the disadvantages are uh, so that the used sand cannot be used further for the next process and the bench life of the sand mixture that is, that is uh, if you are if you are preparing the sand mixture it can it uh, it is to be used within a particular uh, time a uh, forward it if it exceeds it can also be it cannot be used uh, so far because the properties the collapsibility is damaged uh, during the over time of this uh, sand mixture then applications where it has to be used uh, it has to be used whether where uh, the speedy and flexibility is at is the prime requirement and molds and cores for a very varied size and shapes can be molded by this process 
so this is a short video friends if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching for watching